Well, good morning, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Merit Jano, Dean of the School of International Public Affairs, and it's my pleasure to welcome you to the 2017 Global Digital Futures Policy Forum here at Columbia University. We've we're really delighted that you've joined us for this day of discussion on the subject of digital technology and globalization, with a particular focus on what we see as the cross trends, often in tension, of globalization, reflected in growing interconnection in many forms, and further fragmentation in the world, arising from governmental policies, the rise of barriers in some areas, not the lowering, some technological developments, and both commercial and business strategies as well. This is the third year uh, that SIPA has hosted and created this Digital Policy Futures Forum. And our purpose in the last two years uh, and today is not only to identify immediate developments in internet and globalization, but to look ahead to emerging challenges and possible policy responses. Last year, for example, we focused on issues around global, global data governance, uh, a theme that will continue to make its way into today's discussion without doubt. And this forum really brings together a remarkable group of emerging and established scholars, technologists, policymakers, business leaders, and practitioners from around the world and I want to thank you all for making time to join us. And we start with two framing discussions, the first around commercial and economic issues where the strains of globalization and fragmentation uh, may be increasingly evident, and the second around geopolitical institution and political features uh, of uh, this uh, dynamic. And this is then followed by five more specific panels on trade, issues of trust, platforms and economic development, cyber and democratic institutions such as elections, uh, financial stability and cyber risk. And each are capturing, I think, areas of stress point as well as opportunities. Some of these uh, areas are not new. Uh, but we are assessing them in the current moment, uh, where there are a number of very significant new developments uh, since we last convened uh, last year. And we hope that we will bring out of this discussion both areas of growing risk, uh, but also opportunities uh, for innovation, growth, um, and where governmental policy and solutions uh, still are at an early stage. Uh, I want to start by thanking those who have supported this effort, notably the Carnegie Corporation of New York, which has been a crucial partner to SEPA these last two years in supporting our effort to bridge the divide between the academy and the policy world. And through their support, uh, we have focused on digital economy, cybersecurity, and internet governance. Also to Microsoft, who has supported this forum for the last two years, and to the Internet Society for live streaming us uh, today and last year. I also want to acknowledge uh, SEPA's faculty collaborators across Columbia University, including the Institute for Teleinformation at Columbia Business School, the Data Sciences Institute and the School of Engineering, the Tau Center for Journalism, and faculty at each of these parts of the university as well as the law school. And of course, thanks to all of our expert speakers for joining us and for a core group of advisors to me in this effort, including Gordon Goldstein, Ellie Noam, Laura Donardis, Steve Bellavan, Jason Healy, and our cyber fellow this year, Hugo Zilberberg.